Hello guys and welcome to How to Tech. In today's video, we are going to see the latest offering from OpenAI which is called Sora. And Sora is an AI model that can create realistic and imaginative scenes from the text instructions, right? So you can go to openai.com slash Sora to see all these trending videos that are coming in. And this has changed the world of AI so as to say because it was just released a couple of days back and the hype that Sora is receiving is amazing. Now basically they have written in their website Sora can generate videos up to a minute long. Now this was a very recommended feature. See, it is not straight available to the public as of now because if you scroll down they also mention in their website that Sora is becoming available to red teamers only as of now to assess the critical areas for harms and risk. Obviously this needs to be you know uh, thoroughly studied by a team of UAT testers so right now it is in the capable hand of the red teamers who are testing this thoroughly and we are also granting the access to a number of visual artists designers and filmmakers to gain feedback on how to advance the model to be more helpful for creative professionals and they have not mentioned any timeline when exactly it will be available so I guess we just need to wait so as of now just let us go ahead and see what what are the kind of videos that Sora is Sora is generating right so what I have done is, if you see the prompt that 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 we have, they have given to Sora, is a gorgeously rendered papercraft world of coral reef, right? So, papercraft world of coral reef. This is very important. Now, now the model is clearly able to understand that we are in a need of papercraft world, which is exactly what it is doing. It is showing you a papercraft world of coral sea reefs. And if you look at this carefully, it has maintained the lighting gradient. I have used the same prompt and have created videos using other AI tools, right? So if you go to Pika Labs, the output from Pika is on the right hand side and the output from OpenAI's Sora is on the left. Now you can clearly see that Pika is not yet able to understand that it's a paper craft world which was the original requirement of the video so it is not yet able to comprehend that it is so the left hand side video that you are seeing is not edited at all it's straight coming out of prompts from Sora also look at the quality the duration of the video on your left is of 20 seconds and it is crystal clear so let's go to one more video generator which is Moon Valley now this is the output from Moon Valley which you are seeing on the right uh, the definition wise I think it has done a good job with the lighting especially if you see the lighting underneath the sea it is coming up very nice in Moon Valley and the problem with this is again the basic which is at it has not understood that it is a paper craft world so it's again trying to show me the realistic approach over here I definitely think that Sora has an edge over the existing uh, you know uh, video generator well let's see one more example which says drone view of waves crashing against the rugged cliffs it is a huge prompt so you can go ahead and read the prompt as well I have copy pasted the exact prompt to Pika and this is the output okay on your right is the output from Pika labs and as you can see there is not much of a clarity in Pika the clarity that you get with Tora's open AI on the left is just amazing. Although this time, at least the AI ha uh, has understood that we needed a drone shot. So let us try to see some of the videos that are generated by uh, Sora. Animated scene features a close-up of short fluffy monster kneeling beside a melting red candle. <laughs> Again, amazing video which HD quality. Close-up video of two pirate ships battling each other as they sail inside a cup of coffee. A young man at his 20s is sitting on a piece of cloud in the sky reading a book. When you see historic footage of California during the gold rush, it is able to understand that and the video sort of now has a historic look and feel towards it as if you were looking at videos from 90s, right? A close-up view of a glass spear that has a zen garden within it. There is a small dwarf in the spear who is raking the zen garden and creating patterns in sand. Exactly whatever the prompt is saying, the video is trying to achieve the same. One more which I really like, the petri dish with a bamboo forest growing within it. It has tiny red pandas running around. And probably the most cutest of all is the 3D Animation of a small, round, fluffy creature with big expressive eyes explores a vibrant, enchanted forest. So, it also says that Sora is able to generate complex scenes with multiple characters, specific types of motion, accurate details of the subject and background, 
and this is what it means if you see this particular video a camera follows behind a white vintage SUV you see the point of view is as if you are having a camera which is following the white vintage SUV right and although the SUV is in motion it does not sort of distort the the video a bit it's just the beginning of 2024 and you are able to see these kind of videos then then I'm sure the future is very bright for video generation using AI but having said that we are also having some flaws which I'll be discussing hopefully in my next video and there is a research paper also in the beginning which says read technical report if you read this there is a very interesting part on how the video generation model is working one of the very interesting thing is the text generation as well so an image of a realistic cloud that spells Sora so that this is one of the features that we will be looking forward as well so that's it guys for this video uh, till the next time we meet keep creating and happy AI bye bye